Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kettle Cookers. Uh, today, it's a little bit windy, so I, I couldn't really shoot outside, but I decided I'd uh, give you a tour of my grilling toolbox. I just picked this up in the last month or so, and it's really helped me organize my grill supplies and make it easy for me to take things on the go, whether it's just going to a friend's house to barbecue and taking the top box, or going to some sort of event and taking the whole thing. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna take this box apart one by one and see what's in it. Okay, so this is the top box in the set. Um, the nice thing is they all come apart really easy. They're quick release. Um, it's, it's on the unit below each one, so I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but I wanted to go over this top box first. This is the box that I would take with me anytime I'm going anywhere, whether it's to hang out at a friend's house and do some barbecuing or help somebody with catering. Um, you know, anytime I'm going anywhere where I'm going to be barbecuing, this box is coming with me. The nice thing is it has a handle, so it's easy to carry. Uh, latches shut. You can see there's a plastic top on here, so I can easily see everything that's in it. Uh, that top just flips open, so I can quickly grab my instant read thermometer. Uh, it also comes open this way. There are some legs in the back, so if your bottom isn't as heavy as the top, you don't have to worry about it falling over. It's nice and sturdy. Um, so we'll go ahead and go through what's in the box. Uh, if I open the lid here, again, these are things I'm going to use all of the time when I'm cooking. So they're at the top, so they're easily accessible. Uh, I've got two Maverick XR50 four-probe thermometers. Um, I've got a whole bunch of probes right here. I've got a instant read thermometer. That's kind of my backup now. I just got a new Javelin Pro Duo, so this is my main one. Uh, I've got a little compartment here. I've got extra batteries for the thermos. I have another one with extra batteries, including the smaller extra batteries for the instant read thermometers. Um, <clears throat> got a little container here. I've got Q-tips and tweezers. I'd use those in a competition for cleaning up a box after putting the meat in it. Uh, I've got a uh, Thermoworks time stick, which is just a little timer. It's magnetic, uh, so you can just stick it anywhere, but it's really handy. It's got some nice count down and count up features. Um, it's really good for timing steaks and things like that when you're reverse searing. Uh, I've got all my clips right here for putting my probes on the grill grate. I've got a headlamp. Uh, this thing is great for cooking at night. I have to put my head on backwards, but uh, it's adjustable. It adjusts up and down, um, and this is really good. That way you can have your hands free while you're looking at the grill and using your tongs or spatula or whatever it is. So that really comes in handy. Um, so that's it for the top section, but you can see that holds quite a bit. And then if I go down to the bottom section, I've got a pair of gloves. These are actually double lined, um, you know, rubber gloves, um, or actually nitrile gloves. Uh, these are double lined, so if I'm handling something warm but not super hot, these do the trick. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive than some of my other gloves, so I don't use them for everyday use. Uh, I've got another box here. These are uh, large gloves. These are a lot thinner, a lot cheaper, so I use these around the house. I use these when I'm cooking in the backyard. I use these all the time. Uh, I've got a box of the same thing, but an extra large, and I've got my hot gloves in here. Uh, if you're not familiar with hot gloves, they're just basically one size fits all uh, cotton gloves that you can put on. And then you can put your glove on, your nitro glove on over it uh, to keep it from getting wet. And this gives you protection from warmth. You can pick up a 200 degree brisket out of the grill and carry it around without burning your hand. Uh, the extra large gloves just help because um, your hand gets bigger with the hot glove on. So it just gives you a little bit more room to work with. So I've got those together. I got my hot gloves right in the box there with that. And then we're going to get down here. I've got my tools. So I've got, uh, this is the cherry picker tongs from Adrenaline Barbecue. 
Uh, David Parrish actually gave these to me when he was out here in Denver this summer uh, shooting a YouTube video for GQ Barbecue's channel. Uh, there's also a video um, on the No Hippie Barbecue channel. Uh, we shot a reverse sear video on my ranch kettle. But David gave me these on his way out so he wouldn't have to deal with getting them onto the airplane. These things are great. The curve on them just makes it really easy for picking up charcoal. I've got a spatula. I've got a bigger pair of regular tongs. Another pair of tongs. And then I've got my knives in here. I've got a serrated knife. I can use that for cutting meat or breads. I've got my boning knife. This is a uh, Victorinox boning knife. Um, this thing is great. This is my brisket trimmer. Um, I've got a larger chef's knife that I have in there in case I need that. And then I've also got my slicing knife. So I've got all the knives I could basically need um, if I was out and about with my toolbox and came across some meat uh, that needed to be trimmed or meat that needed to be sliced when it was done. So that's everything that's in this box. You can see it's quite a bit. Um, and the nice thing is I use this box when I'm at home. This isn't just a box I, you know, that stays packed up in case I go somewhere or that I throw things in when I go somewhere. I use this every day. So when I get done with tongs, when I get done with thermometers, they go back in this box so I know exactly where everything is. All right, next up, we're going to go through the second box in my stack. I put them back together real quick just so I can show you how, the, how easily they uh, hold together or come apart. So this is a smaller box. This one I may take sometimes with me. Sometimes I wouldn't. It's mostly spices, but you just pop these open, and then the boxes come, a, come apart. So I'll leave that back here for now. So in box number two, we have some of the spices that I use on a regular basis. Um, I've got a few basting brushes as well. Let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, I wish I could tell my girlfriend this is all the spices I have. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not. Uh, this, these are the spices I use on a most regular basis. Um, you know, I've got a little bit of everything in here. I've got some right rub. I've got loot and booty everything rub. Killer hogs all purpose. Mojo rub I'm almost out of. So, Jay, i got to place another order with you, buddy. Uh, steak mojo. Uh, this is a coffee rub um, that I really, really like on tri-tip. Uh, this is from a company called Rock and Rubs. Uh, I've got Grower's Steak Dance. This is awesome on steaks, along with Boar's Night Out White Lightning. I've got Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub. I use this on a lot of things. Uh, this doesn't have much salt on it, so you can add this to almost anything you're cooking to add some color. Uh, I've got Blue's Hog, Bold and Beefy. If you haven't tried this, give it a shot. It's really good on beef. It really adds a deep, beefy flavor. Uh, to things I really like it on brisket. And then Cimarron Docks uh, Sweet Rib Rub and Barbecue Seasoning. Uh, I, I really like this on pork. I use this for finishing ribs. I also use it when I'm pulling uh, uh, shredded pork. And then lastly in here I've got a knife sharpener and a couple of basting brushes. Okay, for box number three, this one does not have a clear plastic cover. Uh, it does have a handle on it. Um, so this one could be carried around by itself. Uh, when I open it up, it does have a tray that rests in it. I don't really have a whole lot in this box compared to the other ones yet. Uh, I've got my backup injector. Uh, I've got a light bulb. <laughs> uh, the last competition I was at, um, my light bulb and my light that I put under my tent actually went dead, so I always carry an extra light bulb now. Uh, I've got a fat separator. It's a really big fat separator. I might start looking for a little bit smaller of one to put in my box. Um, I've got my BDI injector, so I use this for injecting my meats. Uh, I got a couple towels. You can never have enough clean rags around when you're dealing with barbecue and grilling. 
uh, some shakers if I need some shakers to maybe combine some rubs or sometimes I'll take a rub and grind it up in a coffee grinder to make it even finer for finishing. Um, I've got a few Nalgene's. I've actually got about eight of these and they'll all fit in here. Um, so these I can use for mixing up injections, mixing sauces. Um, usually when I'm going to a, a big barbecue event, I'll have these. They might not even be in this box. They might be pre-mixed with some different uh, combinations of barbecue sauces and in my cooler. But it gives me a good place to keep them. Uh, I've got one can of apple juice. I need to get a couple more small cans. These little cans come in handy. You know, it, you can get the big bottle, but sometimes you just need a little bit to maybe put in your pulled pork if it's drying up. Um, if I was going to add this to a pork shoulder when I was wrapping, just a little can like this is nice to have instead of having to go out and buy, you know, a big jug and then you use this much apple juice. Um, and I've got a couple cans of squirt as well. That might be something I wrap ribs with. I'm not telling anybody. Uh, so that's about it for this one right now. Again, this one's not super full because uh, some of my bottles are actually in the refrigerator with sauce in them. Um, and this is a box that if I was going to, you know, a vending event or catering um, or a competition, I have room to put more things in this box as I need it. All right, last but not least is the bottom, which is the base. This does not come off of the little cart that it comes with. It does have nice wheels on it. Uh, they are rubberized. They're not plastic, so they don't make a ton of noise when you're rolling around. And then this comes up so that you can roll the whole assembly when this is on it all together, which makes it really convenient. Uh, let me turn this around. And we'll get into what's in this box. Uh, this box is more of the things that I would use if I was setting up an entire pit area. So if I was at a vending event or a competition, um, that's what most of this stuff in here is for. Uh, so to start off, I've got quick covers, which are fitted plastic disposable uh, tablecloths for six foot banquet tables. Um, it makes it really easy. You know, if you pull out a brisket and do trim all your meat and there's crap that got off of your cutting board all over the place. This makes it really easy. Just take it off, throw it away, put a new one on. Uh, they're not super cheap, but they're not super expensive either. Um, they are reusable, so you can wipe them down. They wipe down a lot better than these tables do. This one's probably, yeah, you can see this table's pretty dirty. Um, these you can wipe down really easy. Uh, it just makes it convenient, especially if you're in a competition situation where you know it's turning time you've got one meat out you make a big mess you want to clear the table off you can just rip this off throw a new one on it's fitted it's got elastic uh, on the corners it's got some little tape to kind of hold down the side so if it's windy they don't blow off so that's the first thing i've got uh, the next thing i have is heavy duty trash can liners if you try to use a regular um, plastic trash bag especially if you're using a lot of disposable aluminum pans, they tend to rip and they get filled with barbecue juices and stuff. So they're just a mess. So heavy duty trash can liners. Uh, they also double um, as a tablecloth in a pinch. If you got some electric tape, you can cut these open, unfold them, tape them around the table. Uh, I've got more hot gloves. I have a first aid kit. Uh, you never know when you're going to accidentally cut your finger. You're using some sharp knives and maybe you burn yourself. So I've got a first aid kit just in case. Uh, some zip ties. I'll use those for hanging up my sign. Uh, it's been cold here in Denver, so I have some hand warmers. Uh, the last competition I did, Mike Gilbert, who's also in the kettle cookers, came out and helped me. And it was well below freezing uh, at like 2 or 3 in the morning when we we're firing up the pits. So those came in handy. Um, you know, that's something as summer rolls around, won't be in the box anymore, but it comes in handy right now. Uh, I've got a big clock, uh, so that way if it is a competition situation or you're cooking on some sort of a deadline, you can keep track of the time. Aha. Uh -huh. This, I don't know if this is something new or if this is a barbecue secret. None of my barbecue buddies have told me. But you need... 
toilet wipes. This changes the porta potty game. If you're at a vending event or a competition and you're having to use porta potties, you don't have to take the whole pack with you. Just throw a couple in your pocket, go use the porta potty. This is a game changer. Uh, next up, I've got some strainers, uh, particularly when using my BDI injector. I like to strain my injections before I run it through that. I'll also use this um, if I'm going to use like the jus from a brisket or the juice from a uh, wrapped pork shoulder. I'll use this to kind of strain out some of the chunky parts. Uh, one more strainer, nice small one. These fit right on top of my Nalgene so I can pour things into them, strain them out. I've got a coffee grinder. It's just a cheap little Mr. Coffee. This, again, this works really good if you uh, want to grind up some of your seasoning. So at the end of a cook, uh, if you want to hit your ribs or, or something else with a really fine layer of seasoning that's not going to be crunchy, this works great. It turns it into a powder. I've got a couple more table covers. And then I've got two saucepans. These stay in here all the time. I have saucepans at home that I use if I'm cooking at home. Um, so these just stay in here for when I am uh, cooking somewhere else. And then last but not least, I have a two burner stovetop so that I can use this to keep sauces warm, heat things up. Um, you know, if I was doing an all night cook, I could break out a pan, fry up some eggs if I wanted. Uh, so that's everything that's in this box. I mean, you can see this box holds a lot of things. Um, and again, if I was just going to a friend's house, I'd take this top box, maybe the bottom box. I probably wouldn't take all of this stuff. This is stuff that just generally stays boxed up except for uh, bigger cooking events. Uh, so that's the tour of the boxes. I'll get it all put back together and show you how it rolls. Uh, I hope this was informative. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down here. Hit the bell as well so you get notifications. Um, leave any comments uh, that you have. Make sure you hit the like button. Any suggestions for videos I should do, um, any of your thoughts on this video, please leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you for stopping by and... Uh, in just a minute, I'll be rolling my way out of here with my barbecue toolbox. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. See you on the next video.